This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Squarespace. Please put your seatbacks and tray tables in their upright and locked positions for our review of Pan Am. We are back for TV. We've got some major, major fall premieres coming out. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Pan Am, one of the, there's sort of two network TV uh, series that are kind of going after the Mad Men audience with a sort of retro throwback vibe, uh, Pan Am and um, Playboy Club. the Playboy Club. Pan Am, uh, today's Friday, Pan Am actually airs on Sunday night, uh, so check it out on ABC, I think? Yep. Uh, so I was right on ABC. Uh, so Pan Am follows the... ABC, I think, is right next to ABC Family. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's their website. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, Dot I think. I, a, a little uh, I, big T. Yeah. So Pan Am follows the, uh, it's, uh, follows the sordid trivial, trials and tribulations. Trials. Of one of the first, uh, transcontinental jet airline flown by Pan Am. Um, follows the stewardesses, the purser, the co-pilots, the pilots. Mostly the stewardesses. Mostly though. the stewardesses. Although oh, the pilot the is pilot pretty, be the a captain main is character. A, definitely a main character. Um, so it's set in the 50s, is that what it is? I should have read up. 50s, late 60s? 60. 60, 60 something. 60s, something. 60s. For sure. 60s. 60s. The <laughs> non-denominational 60s. 60s. Uh, stars uh, Christina Ricci is sort of the main Fruit. name. Um, Sorry, that's an and it joke. was... Um, it was uh, created by Jack Orman, um, who was a writer uh, who uh, wrote and produced on The Men of a Certain Age and a couple of the shows, and also wrote Matador, the uh, independent movie with uh, Pierce Brosnan. Jeff Kanata, yeah, Pan Am, Pan big Am. fan of traveling. I love flying this in the friendly, friendly skies. This is a show about traveling. It is. And spies. All the riveting things that happen on a plane. Champagne giving out. Sitting, <laughs> sitting, <laughs> looking so, out the window. What did you think of Pan America? Oh, I don't know what to make of this show, to be honest with you. Hmm, okay. Um, it, it's a, a pilot directed by Tommy Schlammy. Tommy Schlammy. West Wing. Indeed. Oh. Big trying to, fan. He's trying to endear Does that Jeff. Help? I, I yeah. Sense. Does that I help? think it's a. I think it's beautiful, and they must have dropped a chunk of change on this because it is CG City. It way you can yeah, and but there's like. Big sets and, and a lot of period stuff, a lot of cars and things. You know, it, it was not an inexpensive thing, and it looks pretty. It looks like the money the money they spent is on the screen uh, for sure. Um, I couldn't bring myself to give a shit about any of these people, um, but maybe that'll change over the course of time. But uh, it's funny. Yesterday we did a, a review of uh, of uh, Gifted Man. Yeah, I remember. That's... Remember that yesterday, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and we were all wondering about where the show was going to go. And I feel the same way about Pan Am. I felt like there is so little interesting stuff that happened. Like, okay, I was excited when one of the characters, spoiler, turns out to be a spy. Right? Yeah. Spoiler. But it's actually not that big of a spoiler. Not that big of a spoiler. But it's the only interesting thing that happens. Okay, in in my opinion. Uh, and I can't imagine there will be a spy-y thing for her to do every goddamn week. It feels so redundant, and it's always going to be somebody sitting on the plane with that. I, I, I don't. I didn't. I don't see the meat here. I don't see the meat on the bone. I, I think it's a lot of pretty people in a pretty-looking place doing pretty things, but none of it do I really care about. It doesn't have the flavor of the time like Mad Men has. Uh, interesting things. I mean, yeah, oh, they can smoke on the plane. Well, that's, yeah, I, I understand. But it doesn't feel like it's on a lived-in world as much. And we get the sort of... I said the same thing about the pilot of Mad Men, actually. Did I? Yeah. I remember you said, possibly. well, they smoke in an elevator. Like, what? Yeah. Smoking is a big thing. <laughs> yeah. um, and we, we do the sort of Lost-esque cutaways to, to, to pre-stories, and maybe that'll be a big thing that will give us a little more life outside the plane. Because the life on the plane just doesn't interest me, sadly. Um, and... I want to bring up uh, a point that uh, I, I think I mentioned on the show a few times that I uh, was listening to Tina Fey's audiobook, mm -hmm. uh, wherein she talks a little bit about making television and, and what she likes about making television. And one of the things she mentions is that uh, 
in her experience, and it resonated with me, I've never heard anyone articulate it, but I, it resonated with something I believe, mm. which is oftentimes there are too many beautiful people on one show. And that when you have people that are all beautiful, you can't tell them apart. Like it's the one beautiful girl and the other beautiful girl and the other beautiful guy and, and everybody's really attractive. And so they all sort of mush together in this one attractive blob of people that, oh, is it that girl that just did that? And especially because they're all dressed the same way. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't, they're all just too pretty and none of them has any character and there's no, nobody I want to latch onto and, and go for a ride with because they're all just sort of bland, the sameness. Yeah. So I hope I'm wrong. I hope the show has a little more life to it, but I just I just found myself hmm. completely uninterested Interesting. in Daniel, following it. How were you on the plane across I, the I I could not be more opposite than uh, how Jeff felt about the show because I loved it. I really loved it. I was shocked that I would have been so smitten with it. So is Jeff. And uh, yeah. This is my shock. And I face. and I um <laughs> and I uh, face. <laughs> yeah I mean I, I I'm I loved it for all the reasons that Jeff didn't like it. I was actually quite taken with all the characters and I felt the like I, I really <laughs> all that I didn't think beautiful. they were beautiful people. I thought everyone had a really distinct look. I mean really? Christina Ricci is even I mean there's no Hollywood bombshell on it. The Christina Ricci is a peculiar looking person. She's attractive, but I mean, it's not. Uh, like, look, we all I've always, understand. It's everyone, <laughs> and all the faces actually look, remind me of Mad Men in a way, and remind me of like Coen Brothers casting. They all, everyone has really interesting faces, the stewardesses, I think. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that point. But also, um, I loved, I, I feel like I can see the series here. I love that, I, I think it's easy to, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even speaking to what you just said, but I think, the presumption of the show for a lot of people was going to be a whole show in a plane. Um, but I found the pilot really opened the doors in it's all, it's, I think every week is going to be the That's funny. I thought you meant literally the guy who was piloting the plane. The, when they talked about the pilot, right. it opened the door. Oh, I was like, funny. what did he do? That's funny. And then I was like, oh, he means this show. The, uh, <laughs> I feel like every week is going to be the departing city. Uh, then we go in the plane. We have flashbacks that flashbacks that set up our, our story and we are in the arrival city. So the plane is only, is, it's just another standing set on it as you would have in any other show. It could have been eight, the HQ in 24 or whatever. But I feel like it's gonna be one of a variety of locations. It's not like uh, uh, flight plan or executive decision or whatever. Air Force One. Air Force One, right. Um, so, and I, and I, what I loved especially was I thought it was gonna be all melodrama, but when it threw in that hint of uh, a larger scale, more cinematic story, the spy thing, I was like, oh, this is interesting. It really had a strong hook for me. And Mad Men did the same thing, but much later on. You didn't see that in the pilot. So I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that. And I thought, just this pilot uh, show, first episode, ah, oh, um, okay, yeah. was <laughs> one of the most cinematic pilots I've ever seen. And I, w I think I was particularly struck by it because we expect that on a show like Lost or Alias that have movie premises as TV shows. But this was like, at least at first, before the spiness, it felt like, a, wow, I never saw a pilot for, that felt like a romantic comedy movie as a show. You know Did what you I mean? mean? This felt like a romantic comedy? No, but then it turned into something else, is what I'm saying. But it felt, I never saw a dramatic TV show that didn't feel like a dramatic TV show. This felt like a dramatic movie. Um, hmm. Just in terms of the, the, the way it, the photography and um, the kind of story it was telling, or the, the way the story was written. So I loved it. Wow. What do you okay. say? What do you say? Interesting. Um, I definitely don't sit where he is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I did not enjoy this movie or this show much at all. Um, and I'm trying to. Uh, when the sort of spy stuff happened, the immediate thought I had was, oh, that poor, poor person pitching his show about Pan Am to an executive <laughs> Oh, and also executive. there's a spy. Who literally goes, eh. No, 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 no there's a goes, spy, though. <laughs> and then one of them is a spy, and he goes, I'm listening. <laughs> I just had this moment of like, oh, my God, what is, how is there a spy? Because I, what I was interested in was sort of the really sort of, you know, the inner workings of the sort of, plane and and how that hall works and when the spy stuff came in i was like no sir i don't want that and then when they go to cuba for like five minutes i was like no you can't it felt like they because were, it's in the 60s yeah but it also felt like they were just they weren't earning any of the characters they weren't earning any of the relationships i didn't care that this chick was maybe not going to do her spy thing 
because I had no idea who she was. I had no concept of why I would want to, to follow this girl. You know, when they go to Cuba and he's like, oh, quick, get on the plane. I was like, I don't care if she makes the plane. She made the plane. She's in the other scenes. You know what I mean? Like, it just felt like they had every, like, you know, especially at the Cuba thing, like, they were like, all right, close the door. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we're not going to leave without the stewardess. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Because guess what? There's 150 people in here that are going to be shot if we don't <laughs> leave the stewardess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you hold the plane. I'm the cat. I'm, I'm the second in command. I'm running out. You know, it's just all this stuff just felt so, it, it, what it was was, in my opinion, I would, I could see what it was they wanted me to feel instead of feeling what they wanted me to feel. Like I saw how, oh, this is the scene where I'm supposed to be upset because of this. And it's so, it just seemed so laid out for me. Um, <clears throat> and even in the opening stuff, I was like, oh boy, oh boy. And maybe I just wasn't in the right mood because, you know, maybe I felt the same way about Mad Men, I don't know, but it just, it felt like business people making Mad Men where Mad Men is made by artists. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and I felt like, I, and, and I'm, and you know, I'm hoping it, it finds its legs, you know, and that it really or kind of- Or its wings. Oh, oh yeah. Hope it gets up in the uh, air. Because there were- <laughs> Hope it takes because, off. Because there were, uh, uh, all right, everybody, you're not in an exit <laughs> room. Uh, I, uh, because I really, I, I, I love the concept of having a series that is following this, you know what I mean? I just don't want it to have a turbulent mid-season. Don't, why, why would you do it? Oh, God. I want to put my tray table in the upright <laughs> position. I'm, I'm sitting here with a bag of peanuts. <laughs> uh, hey oh, time to wrap it up. Uh, You're the so, captain. So I didn't really you know, care so much for the, for the thing, but I enjoyed where it was going, and I t do agree that the production value I thought was very good, it was very well shot, but I just didn't, substance wasn't there for me. Uh, but check it out for yourself. Pan Am uh, airs Sunday night on ABC. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for this day in rat history. First, we want to thank our sponsor, Dan Trachtenberg. Squarespace is Ooh. the fast and easy way to create a high-quality blog, portfolio, or website. Professional From or personal. From personal to professional. Mm. We cover the gauntlet here on the show. It's fully hosted and takes care of all the tricky details of getting your site online. There's nothing to download, nothing to install, nothing to set up. Mm. Uh, you can choose from a wide variety of professionally designed templates out of the box. They bam. go on to customize anything bam. with point and click control bam. over every element. Bam, bam. And they all look great, That's I must say. And the bam. nuances you can add to bam. them are all great as well. Bam. Squarespace comes with a variety of page types from blogs to galleries to there contact forms. Bam. Uh, which you can snap together in any configuration to snap. build the site you want. <laughs> doesn't work. Snap doesn't work. Squarespace also comes with great social integration like Twitter and Flickr widgets built right Widget. into the system <laughs> and has beautiful slideshows be that you can add to any page on your site. Plus, if you have any Plus. questions or need help, Squarespace provides every customer Wait with amazing it. support. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 24 hours a day. Right. You're, right. Well, you're right, you're right. And you? You're right. Seven days a week. Bam! There's always <laughs> someone on call to answer your question in minutes. We've all used this service and it is wonderful. <laughs> get, check out squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off. Just enter coupon code TRS9. Bam. Nine. Nine. <laughs> we gotta get them set up TRS BAM. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, people, we will see you. Hey, don't yeah. forget to send in your backgrounds, fans at totallyretro.com. We love seeing those. We do love seeing them. Uh, is this Friday's show? Yeah. We don't you tune for a little treat instead outtakes. of seeing the What's usual. Happening? You get to see some outtakes. <laughs> outtakes. Hey, this is a dancing game. Here we go. I'm like, I don't want to know that they can see outtakes. I'm tuned for a little treat. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to scare little boys and girls. Bam. I will eat you. Bam, game fun, bam. Y'all ready for this?
Go, ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I want to go to Six Flags. I was ready for the fucking basketball team to come out and... Uh -huh. They didn't. You're already six Sixers. 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 I can't do money anymore. Ah. It's ridiculous. All right, well then, <laughs> doing it. stop whenever you like. <laughs> I will be queuing you. Here we go. All right, everybody, before we say goodbye, we're not. Here we go. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's, That's what you say. Do. I like that. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, work. before we time to say goodbye. Because we're saying goodbye. All right, here we go. Yeah. Part ways. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Oh, wow. Bam, 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 b